Hello everybody, welcome back to WWT, everyone's classic gamer show, I'm Mike C. And I'm Fred Wild. And today we're here to talk to you about the Xbox preview. Yeah, the Xbox new experience. Now, mm -hmm. it's the new dashboard that's coming out to everybody in October. But uh -huh. if you're part of the preview program, mm -hmm. you get to experience this now. So, I'm going to go over a couple of things that I liked and I didn't like. And of course, it wouldn't be a review from Fred Wild if there was something in this review <laughs> That I didn't like. Right. So let's jump into it. All right, go ahead, Fred. All right. So right now you see I'm at the home page, and it looks a lot different from what you were used to. Mm -hmm. Now, from Windows 10 users, this will look a lot familiar to you. Um, not so much. It doesn't look identically to Windows 10, mm -hmm. but it's based on a lot of Windows 10 features. Okay. Now, um, some of the stuff I'll go over real quick. You got your home page right here. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a lot different than what it looked like on the uh, the old Xbox dashboard. Mm -hmm. And this one, it does, it, it feels a lot better than what the other uh, dashboard did. It has a better feel to it. Um, the community here, you can start a, um, you can talk with people and, and I think you can create a community and talk about certain games. I think that's what, it, what that is. One guy, I can't go through that because if I put this on YouTube, um, I can't display the shows that are currently running through my Xbox through Verizon. So I don't want to get this video banned, so I can't show that. Um, the games, basically these are the games that uh, that you can go in here and purchase. Um, you can browse through all the games. You can search through the mm -hmm. games, new release. And this has a cleaner look. Yeah, I like this really a lot does. better. It really does look clean. Um, Go back up here. It looks like a massive computer, <laughs> seriously. And that's what they're trying to turn this thing into. Mm -hmm. Now here you have your apps. You can still browse all your apps. You can find uh, new apps. And um, one app that I like on here is Tubi TV. Mm -hmm. Check that out. It's, it's a pretty good app. It has a lot of shows on there that retro shows, if you're in our age range, that you would love, man. Okay. Um, pretty good. Uh, I have Pandora on here. Uh, Twitch, um, Pandora, YouTube, Netflix, still the same old stuff, but it has a cleaner look. Um, movies, you can go in here and check out um, the new movies that they have. Um, as of the date of shooting this, you have something called, uh, well, I want to see Halloween, Tales of Halloween. I've seen the trailer for that, and that looks pretty good. Cool. Um Blue versus, well, red versus blue. Isn't that like the Halo thing? That's the Halo thing, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> San Andreas and Vacation, Tomorrowland. Um, and then we go back up here to music. Uh, not my taste of music. Um, a lot of rappers these days, I don't really know what they're saying. Um, I don't even think they're using words. I think they're just using, um, I don't know what they're using, but I don't know. Please put the music program back in the school because you're killing these kids with it. And you can tell in the music today. But let's get back to this dashboard. Okay. Um, one thing that I like about this... Uh, okay, let me go back. Um, from home, if you click back over to your left... Well, let's get out of here. But on the left, you can see that you have another tab where it says 13. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how many people are on online. Mm -hmm. The next one, I believe, is the party chat. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know what that one is, but we're going to go sure. through it. But the the one from the last is the settings. And there's something that you can do in here that I really like. Um, so let's go over here. You going straight to settings? Um, this one, your friends, your friends tab. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe that, that was that. And that one was the party chat. I didn't know what that one was. But you can start your party there. Uh, works pretty good, better. Uh, this is where you can find your messages. Uh, this one is your notifications. Um, you can find out what you did, what you uh, achieved or whatever. This is the settings, but we're going to go back to that. Let's go back down here. Now, this is the apps that you can snap, and as you can see, these are some of the apps that I have on my Xbox One. Mm -hmm. But you basically 
uh, snap these. And if you're using Skype, um, I launched this app to use it, and I noticed that um, it you had to configure it all over again. Mm -hmm. And um, that was pretty much a, a, a headache in a sense. Um, not too much, but it was just a hassle of having to do it again. I really didn't like that. That's the one thing that I didn't like, mm -hmm. uh, reconfiguring Skype. Uh, let's go back to um, your settings. Mm -hmm. Now, um, speaking of the connect. Now, my Xbox does not connect. Oh, see. Stop listening. Stop listening. Pervert. <laughs> um, my unit, I still have to plug my joystick up to it, and it does not read to the Xbox. Now, I don't know if this was a day one edition. Um bug but mine is a day one is edition. a day one edition but i cannot connect to my 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 system without being tethered to it uh once we get that new controller we're going to yeah you see uh we're going to see if that new controller uh does better um wonders for this xbox but i know you know i, I know i'm not the only person having this problem mm. but let's go back to the connect um the one thing i can say is I don't know how it did it, but it improved the response from my Connect. Because when I tell it to turn on, um, you still have to be real quiet. The room has to be real quiet, but it actually worked. I didn't have to say it too many times. Now, when we started doing the show, um, when I showed Mike, I had to say it a few times. It seems like my Xbox always wanted to show off when we start filming. But <laughs> other than that, when I say, you know, turn on or turn off, I don't have to constantly yell at the Xbox like I'm in a, a sane asylum. <laughs> but um, getting back here, going to settings, right. going back up to my settings, a whole new different look. Um, now you go into your account. You can see all the stuff that uh, you can do in your account. Personalization. You see all that stuff there. The network. Bam. You know, wired or wireless. Systems. Um, I don't think there's anything new in here. No, um, those, no. Uh, preferences, uh, notifications, and uh, no people that have the Xbox One. Um, we are getting DVR service later on uh, next year in 2016, so you will be able to record your TV shows. So go ahead and invest oh, into cool. uh, external hard drive. Yeah, you definitely gonna need because you know room on Xbox. Yeah. Halo's coming up, y'all. 60 gigs. Yeah, you're going to need some room. <laughs> yeah. Um, devices. Connect and devices. Uh, we're going to get back to that. I, I like that. Uh, the display and sound. Um, power setup. This Blu-ray and TV and one guy. I can't really go into that because I don't want this video to get banned. Um, and that's about it. Um, now, the narrator. Was that already in there? I don't remember the narrator being up in there. Hmm. Now, that's pretty good. Oh, and I guess we see something else. Button mapping. Button mapping. Let's go in here. Now, I can go to configure since I only have one controller. Um, now, you can remap the buttons in this thing, man. Okay. And you can only, you. we thought you can only do that with that new Pro controller. Mm -hmm. But apparently, you can do it with the Xbox controller that you have now. So, so if you, why would I get the Pro controller then? Um, cause it has the extra buttons on the back. Okay. I think it's four extra buttons on the back, and I guess it comes in useful for when you're playing like shooting games, games and stuff like that. Um, if you want to aim and shoot at the same time without, I don't know. But a hundred and forty dollars for a new controller, I'm it better be worth it. I'm not investing. We're gonna do a review, and hopefully we could do a giveaway on that controller. We're, I'm not gonna. Uh, definitely promise that we <laughs> may be able to do a giveaway on the controller. But from what I've seen, um, it's pretty good. I don't think it's worth a hundred and forty bucks. I don't think so. But anyway, getting back to this uh, dashboard, I mean that is pretty good. You know, um, you want to remap your buttons to I guess to play a joke on your friend or <laughs> I, I don't know. But you can remap it to just to custom the way that you want to be able to play the game. Maybe mm -hmm. the button is not mapped to your liking and you always wish that you could make your trigger button um, A or, button, yeah. 
something. But, I mean, it's pretty good, though. It, it's a pretty good idea. But as time goes on, we'll see if anybody has any difficulty with it. But that's basically it, man. It's a pretty good dashboard. It'll be coming out to everybody else later on in October. But if you're a preview member, you can go ahead and, and try to get it now. But that's going to do it for this episode of WWTF. We want to start the game show. See you guys next time.